All right, guys, we'll be here. I just wanted to go over a few uh, potential breakouts coming up here. Um, I am looking at ABIO. ABIO is um, a penny stock, and uh, I'm going to show you some of the indicators that I'm looking at, and that way you can uh, see what we do here. All right, I have a setup again. Um, if you watch any of my previous videos, I use um, uh, trend trading for dummies to get my indicators, and then I've adapted my own strategy. So um, with that being said, I have an ADXR, a Momentum, a MACD, and a Stochastic Slow. I know it sounds like a lot, but when used um, together, they give you confirmations and uh, lead to big gains. This is a patience game. Remember, stock trading is about ha having patience and uh, picking the right trades at the right time, not necessarily just diving in and getting lucky. So with that being said, I'm on a four-hour time frame, and I have uh, in front of me ABIO, and I'm going to show you what I see. I start with stochastic slow, and I have an up arrow right here. I then look for the confirmation in the MACD, which I've gotten right here with my two up arrows. And then I have a momentum above zero. These three are indications of uh, getting a, um, of entering a trade. Uh, the last confirmation is the ADXR. If you have an ADXR going above 25, then you have uh, the potential breakout happening. And as you can see, this did pop this morning, but because we have just started this trend, I'm going to go ahead and take an entry into this. And, um, then we'll, uh, we'll see where we go from there because this has a lot of potential. We're just cracking the boundaries here on the four hour and you can confirm on the daily as well. And it's, uh, basically the same thing. We have the up arrow here. We have the momentum above zero. We have the ADXR above 25. The only thing we don't have is the MACD. Three of them give me the confirmation. Four of them is when the breakout happens. So with that being said, this is a good trade to me and I'll be looking forward to a resistance of somewhere around 80 cents um, with potentially up to a dollar. And that is on the uh, Fibonacci uh, support resistance. Okay, I'm going to go into um, we are in HMNY. We're going to go ahead and go back to the four hour chart here. We go to the four hour chart and what we see here is that we had momentum. You can see this big drop again, and it's just a consolidation channel. I'm word to, um, seeing this one, um, come up again with the, confirmation on these last bits here with the stochastic giving me the green arrow waiting for the macd confirmation we're just below zero on the momentum and um we're above 25 on the adx so that just tells me we're in consolidation and we're getting ready um for another move and since this is already so low uh that move should be up and we're going to confirm on the one day chart one day chart says stochastic is up macd is up Momentum is just below zero, but the ADX is above 25. So all we're doing is waiting for the momentum. This is safe to be in for the long. And uh, once momentum cracks, we should see that break upward. We can get some, anywhere between, um, you know, a dollar forty on a on a solid pop with volume, um, you know. But you might want to just go for something like 60 cents, which is the top of the Bollinger. So play it safe, take your profits, and uh, that's the name of the game. Last one I'm going to go over is TNTR. TNTR is, um, again, let's go back to the four hour here. All right. So what happened with TNTR? So TNTR, uh, I actually found this one back here, was able to get in around 55 cents. I had the confirmation, the confirmation, the momentum was playing a little bit up and down, but we did have the uh, above zero confirmation. And then we had the um, ADXR that was rising, okay, to get up above uh, 25. Um, and just yesterday, this thing had a huge pop of uh, about 20 cents at its highs, about 25 cents up. And that was all great. 
But this morning, pre-market, what happened was uh, news came out that said that um, it's estimated uh, revenue was going to be negative $1.14 per share, and that tanked it this morning. So this was a loss. Um, you know, this is this is just one of those things that aren't predictable. You know, new when news comes out, uh, we did had an have an estimate of uh, time frame for uh, earnings to come out. It was uh, yesterday evening. It didn't happen, but the news came out of what they predicted, and that was enough to send it to a new low of twenty seven cents, and now it's sitting at thirty cents. Um, without that kind of news, if you're just sitting and um, you had these confirmations, you would have had potential of some around a dollar fifty. And if we go confirm on the daily, uh, we had the up, we had the up, which it did gain, obviously a couple of days before that pop. So all these were in sync. We got the twenty cent pop. Could have had potential up to a dollar, and that was going to be the sweet spot, the um, exit for me. Unfortunately, I didn't get there and um, I exited the trade this morning around 45 cents. So uh, that was a 10 cent loss. And that's just kind of how it goes sometimes. So um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy looking at this. Um, the way I uh, look at my technicals and how I find breakouts before they happen. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more.